there's so much potential mm -hmm. when we place our hope and trust in the Lord. So I hope I do work hard at mm -hmm. encouraging the, the young people who do come to the church to, to spend some time mm -hmm. in the church and prayer. I, when I'm celebrating the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, I look out, and when you're a priest, you have that good, good fortune of seeing people's faces and their responses. And I, I often can't, uh, catch, and I see the, 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 the devotion of so many of the young people, mm -hmm. not only at St. Simon's, but whenever I'm celebrating mm -hmm. Holy, the Holy Mass, at whatever parish, not, not only presently, but in the past, it's there. Mm -hmm. The potential's there. We just have to tap into that potential yes, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and, and find ways to um, invite them and to bring them closer to, to Jesus. And in knowing you, your, um, you, you are show, your uh, discernment is so sharpened. And would you say that that's also an attribute of um, God kind of sharpening up our senses by uh, spending time with him? Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I seem to see things more mm -hmm. sharply. I seem to hear people more acutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, my words, since I've been spending time before Jesus, are, uh, are richer. I started to do this uh, an hour before the Blessed Sacrament. Oh, did about you? About 10 years ago uh -huh. now, I went to off, I was invited to offer ma Holy Mass with the Sisters of the Hermits of Carmel in Chester, New Jersey. Oh, it mm -hmm. was in May of 2000, and May, May of 2000. Mm -hmm. And after the Mass, I just knelt down in that beautiful little chapel and I said, I want to do this. I want to spend one hour each day from this day forward, not only for myself, but for others, to bring others to, uh, to Jesus. And so I have been doing that about 10 years. Can't say I've been doing it perfectly, but I've been making every effort every single day to to, uh, to pray before Jesus, the most mm. blessed sacrament. And when there are opportunities for me to, to uh, enthrone Jesus in the monstrance for myself and for others, I've done that too. What a special grace. And my senses have been more acute, yes. as you asked. Yes, yes. And also, too, just in, in winding up our show today, uh, again, my heart, I think so much of people who are caught up in the addiction process uh, also mental illness, um, people who are just in the throes of despair, despair prison, um, you know, just the, the marginal people who uh, have a difficult time. And I know that you spent a lot of your time um, counseling people in, in many of those departments that I just mentioned. And, uh, you, you know, we really are gifted to have you, Father Mark, and uh, without embarrassing you too much, <laughs> <laughs> the diocese is very, very blessed. We're, we're blessed as a parish and as a community of people that you work so very hard and your, your thoughts are always in addressing our dear Lord and bringing people, his flock, back to him. Well, main people have asked me, what is it like being a priest? What is your day like? Mm -hmm. And over and over again, I come back to the one word, it is a privilege. Oh, yeah. It's absolutely a privilege to serve the Lord, yeah. the church, the parish of St. Simon's. It's a privilege yeah. every single day because every single day brings surprises as well as great riches in my life. Mm -hmm. So oh. thank you for your affirmation, <laughs> but uh -huh. the affirmation does belong to the one who called me to be a priest. <laughs> and so I'm grateful. Oh, that's wonderful, Father Mark. Yes. Well, we hope to be hearing and seeing many new things happening. And maybe this um, the circle of influence will spread, possibly from people watching the show and, uh, you know, maybe even requesting of their parish priest or, uh, you know, or, or, or of the powers that be. Is it possible, you know, is it possible to uh, form together and, you know, maybe not on every parish level because uh, it's difficult. There are reasons, and, and many of the priests are overworked and overburdened, and they're doing the very best they can. But um, 
Hopefully that the practical implications of Eucharistic adoration are endless, they're infinite, and if just the effort is made, maybe one hour a week at a parish, that mm -hmm. parish will be blessed, the parishioners will be blessed, mm -hmm. and I can attest to the fact the priest will be blessed mm -hmm. if that is done. Well, it certainly sounds like more than compound interest <laughs> on, the, on the return for your time spent, you know. And uh, just in closing, Father Mark, uh, he would just lead us in a prayer of inspiration and spontaneity um, to actualize everything we've talked about. Okay. Lord, we ask your continued blessings in our lives. Give us good health. Give us happiness. Give us holiness, for it is in being happy, in being healthy, and being holy, we give greater glory to you and to the church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, Father Mark. Thank you, thank you Maine, so for much. this absolute honor to be here. Oh, God bless you, and thank you very much to Sister Agnes for permitting us to have this beautiful dialogue today and uh, to be continued. <laughs> And actually, uh, in the future, we're hoping that Father Mark will join us again. And um, there are some topics. Father Mark, what would be your part two? What would be your part two? Well, to let us? me think through that. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that question. I Put you on the spot, huh? For that question. Um, yeah. There's so yeah. much to talk about in our lives as members of the... In the spiritual realm, then, you know. The, the Catholic Church. Yeah. So there's a whole Which is taking a very discuss. good direction. Mm -hmm. Lately, through the inspiration of the Spirit, there are mm -hmm. many, I mean, when I say lately, I'm trying very dif difficult uh, problems to deal with among parishioners and uh, doing the very best. The priests are uh, overburdened and overworked, but trying very, very hard. Well, I'd like to hear your story. <laughs> <laughs> That's part two. <laughs> that would be very interesting. You've been involved you know, in a lot of ministries well, in the yeah. church. And again, this is, um, this is wonderful. And we, we just look forward to... Uh, to many other good things. And again, my, my quest, again, uh, recently God has put it in my heart to do restitutional prayer and to bring together possibly a community of people who would be interested in that format in, um, you know, uh, just restitutional prayer. God, God, you know, redeemed us by his life and death and resurrection. And uh, why not offer him back uh, love in that form of restitution? So... We'll see what develops. I'll keep focused. <laughs> thank you, Father Mark. You're welcome. Thank Again, you. from a Dominican way, we thank you for tuning in, and hopefully you'll be back. God bless. God bless you.